Why Lombok is not good for your code design perspective? In this video, I will explain more why you should not use Lombok. However, everything has a trade-off, right? So I will cover the good points of Lombok and how to take advantage if you choose to use anyway. Hello you, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for who wants to become a better software engineer and software architect. So if you want to learn more around software architecture, soft design, Java, persistence layer, no super database, subscribe in my channel and participate to become an ultimate software engineer. Hello everyone, before I start, it is okay if you don't agree with me with me or you have different perspective please explore the comments to put your thoughts about that however explore it of the most polite way as possible okay uh, Lombok is a tool uh, a node that a huge audience people loves a lot and today I will explore why I don't recommend to put Lombok on your application especially because it might bring some inconsistency inside your code design. Let's create, for example, an entity that I will call person entity. And this entity will have a couple of information. So an ID, a name, and finally an email. To make this video short, short Imagine that we're going to have a huge amount of fields, attributes, and so on. With Lombok, yes, you can make your life easier, for example, using Builder Partner. So, with a single annotation here, you're going to receive the Builder. So, if I come here, create a test, public should create a person and then john test.com build so I will receive for free based on a single notation the builder so it's amazing right and as you can see it's missing the getter where you can use a rotation here. So for example, I can put together here or to a single field or to all the fields, okay? You can choose both. So as you can see, with a couple of rotation, you can make your life easier. However, my biggest concern is the encapsulation part. Because first, if you do something like this, getter and setter, and your entity, you are converting your entity to a anemic model instead of a rich model. You're not feeling the getter, setters, uh, accessors. Another point is, does make sense to have, for example, a setter, an ID, if this ID belongs, it's auto-incremented by the database? Of course, the answer is no. And for me, the one that I don't like most is the data, okay? Because data will convert your class, your entity at least, on a dynamic model. But yes, imagine a DTO, for example, it might be super valuable. So what can I do to make this super useful and avoid that everybody use that wrong way? My first thought will be Arc Unity. So I come here, I will create my Arc task, and then I will sh an entity should not be anemic. Oops. And then what can I do? Or at least what can I try to do? I can create my Java classes, new, oops. 
where I will take my person class from, for example, my person. So thank you, my assistant. And what I'm gonna do, I will create my arc rule, rule number one on this case, where the classes should not Okay, let's import the static here. Where this class should not be annotated with data. And then you can explain, explain because an entity should not be anemic. And then execute. Right, the rule check import the class exactly what I'm doing. If it worked, it'll be fine because I can put a huge validation, and for some reason, people decide to put that in an empty, it will break the build. However, it won't work. I explained to you, and why because is rotation by source. So our unity is not able to validate that because the information is not on reflection mode or runtime. Therefore, yes, Lombok has several good annotations. However, several pitfalls annotations where I am not able to use any kind of architecture rule to, to define that's forbidden to use. And my advice, right now with super modern ID, you can generate getters and setters super fast. So you can use record style, you can use IntelliJ default. Uh, you can feel when getters and setters make sense. Okay, that's the main reason. I mean, the design should be rich model instead of anemic model. At least is my perspective. Hopefully you enjoy. Please let me know your thoughts about um, Lombok. Yes, there are good annotations. Builder. The another one that I don't like much is not new, especially because Java provides a object required not new, like this thing here, and you can use. For example, let's create a constructor. And you can put a validation like this. Instead of put a new pointer inside your code site. And you get several benefits doing that. Especially some JIT uh, enhancement. Anyway, please let me know each annotation you enjoy most. Each annotation is super danger inside your code design. And are you using Lombok right now? Are you not using Lombok no, right now and why? That's a brief overview of Lombok. Yes, I could explore in one hour, but let's make the video short. And the main reason that I don't like to use Lombok is the mis encapsulation and make a poor code design avoid rich model. And the, the next one, I'm not able to test using some framework such as ArcUnit. That's all for today.